equilibrium in chemical process dynamic equilibrium consider synthesis of ammonia by haber's process first the concentration of dihydrogen and concentration of nitrogen decreases with time and concentration of product increases with time and after a certain time the composition of mixture remains the same even though some of the reactants are still present this indicates the reaction has reached equilibrium chemical reactions reach a state of dynamic equilibrium in which the rates of forward and reverse reactions are equal and there is no net change in composition this can be explained by the use of deuterium isotope in the formation of ammonia in place of h2 where n3 is formed after equilibrium is attained the two mixtures namely h2 hydrogen n2 nitrogen and h3 ammonia are mixed together and left for a while later when this mixture is analyzed it is found that the concentration of ammonia is just the same as before however when this mixture is analyzed by a mass spectrometer it is found that ammonia and all deuterium containing forms of ammonia that is nh3 nh2d nhd2 and nd3 and dihydrogen and its deuterated forms that is h2 hd and d2 are present thus we can conclude that moving h hydrogen and d deuterium atoms in the molecules must result continuation of forward and reverse reaction in the mixture if the reaction had simply stopped when equilibrium is reached then there would have been no mixing of isotopes in this way equilibrium can be attained from both sides whether we start reaction by taking h2 gas and n2 gas and get nh3 gas or by taking nh3 gas and decomposing it into n2 gas and h2 gas n2 gas plus 3h2 gas in equilibrium with 2 nh3 gas 2 nh3 gas in equilibrium with n2 gas plus 3h2 gas thank you